I think it's a really exciting time. Love that we're seeing a lot of startup innovations happening in this space. And that's actually not only going to impact and change the luxury industry for the better, but also other industries as well. I came into the luxury industry because I was born into a family that was uh, in the luxury industry that were entrepreneurs. My dad and uncle started their own diamond business, which eventually turned into a partnership with De Beers. Uh, and, and now they're uh, a manufacturer for a lot of global brands. So it's kind of like I was born into it, loved it, loved, I was very fascinated by it. But you know, I went into banking, went into technology, uh, spent some time in the family business for six years and eventually built businesses that uh, took uh, really could disrupt the traditional businesses in the luxury industry and eventually where I am now is at eBay uh, taking a really big corporate business that hasn't really been known for luxury and I think in the last two and a half years we really changed perception to become legitimate in luxury. It's really important for the luxury industry to cater to them through digital methods right and e-commerce is one of the key, if not the critical areas where Gen Z is actually engaging with luxury. eBay has a lot of different uh, initiatives going on. We are at the forefront of creating the resale marketplace across luxury, and especially pre-owned merchandise. I think trust and transparency have just become table stakes. You have to have it or else you're just not gonna survive in the luxury industry, especially in the pre-owned uh, market, right? And so the consumer's getting more demanding on that. Consumer's also getting a lot more demanding on the traceability of the goods, like where did they come from? Where was the source? That is really, really important. Uh, other key things is how do we build video commerce and live shopping? That's a huge innovation that we've gone aggressively into. So now brands as well as the sellers can actually tell their stories and be able to sell live versus just posting something. I'm a big believer, people need to come together, support each other, and that's how luxury is really going to evolve and really be what it needs to be rather than trying to take from each other all the time, right? And I think that's really important. I think what I'm most looking forward to see is just getting to know all the startups in a deeper way on what they're building. Really proud of people just, you know, starting something from nothing and going after their vision and sticking with it. It's really, really hard to do, right? Like, I've done it personally, and I know it's really hard to do. So as a member of jury, a being able to like just uh, help them out, advise them, uh, whether startups can win or not this event, they can still have. They're going to have things that are still special, right? So they shouldn't give up. And as a result, I'm, I just want to be there to see what, how we can help them out, not only from an eBay perspective, but from a personal perspective as well. What's the current state of luxury? So there's a couple things driving it, right? One is scarcity, right? Scarcity is huge, right? Meaning. Can you go into a Rolex store right now and even get a brand new Rolex? It is very difficult. So we're seeing scarcity and a lack of getting products at retail stores be a huge driver of folks flocking online and trying to find those same products in the pre-owned market. And we believe that's just going to keep getting uh, increasing as time goes on. What's happening now is people are buying assets that they're passionate about because they've become great investment assets, right? and luxury is one of them. Watches, handbags, for example. And then we spoke about Gen Z already and sustainability, and we believe that's gonna change luxury over the next five to 10 years uh, in a whole new way than where we are today.